None of us wants to see any of these cases come before us in front of the county attorney's office. They are heartbreaking. We're mothers and fathers and aunts and uncles, and it's just heartbreaking to see these cases. Well, we're talking about two similar tragic cases of children dying in hot cars and two different outcomes to them announced this week. The Phoenix foster father accused of leaving a four month old in his hot car this summer is not facing any charges. But a Gilbert dad whose three year old died in a hot car has now been arrested. Our Kim Powell spoke with the Maricopa County Attorney's Office today about how these decisions are made. Yes, um, I have uh, a baby. She's not breathing. Somebody left her in the car. It's a tragic case, no matter how you put it. According to KidsInCars.org, four children have died in Arizona this year from being left in a car in the sweltering heat. Several more got lucky. But prosecuting a tragedy isn't easy. It's a big responsibility, and we take it very seriously. The Maricopa County Attorney's Office says when they're handed charging recommendations from police departments, a prosecutor looks at it and then a supervisor. We're going to take a look at the evidence that's presented, the circumstances of that particular incident, and we're going to look at it in, in an individual matter and on a case-by-case -case basis. Many times a parent leaves a child in a car is because there was a break in their routine or they're stressed and possibly sidetracked. But what prosecutors need to prove in any of these cases is if there was willful negligence. Not all situations rise to criminal prosecution. The county attorney's office says they're also looking to see if impairment or reckless behavior played a role. But they ultimately have to find probable cause and reasonable likelihood of conviction. We have to ensure that we're doing justice for this case and that we're not bringing charges uh, against somebody where we don't believe a crime has been committed. Now, as far as the Gilbert police case goes, the county attorney's office has not received information on those charges and therefore they haven't reviewed it. So they could choose also to not pursue prosecution in that case as well. Answers a lot of questions I think that our viewers have is, you know, to see some of them charged and some not what gives. So thank yeah. you. It's, a it's hard either way you put it. Absolutely for everyone. Mm -hmm.